Good afternoon, Titi and family. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do something very, very interesting. <laughs> well, you already know what you're doing because it's in the title. I wanted to make it like suspenseful, do 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 do, all that sh shebang, thing I'm a Bobby, whatever. But um, yeah, today we are going to do what uh, five dollars can get you in Nairobi, Kenya. Is there another Nairobi except the one for Money Heist the movie? Because I'm saying Nairobi, Kenya. Is there another one? Hmm, let me know down in the comment section if there's any other city in the world called Nairobi. Because there might be. Because uh, there's in Lagos, there's Lagos, Nigeria, and Lagos, Portugal. And the two names are related because um, some of the first uh, Europeans to arrive in Nigeria were from Lagos, the city in Portugal. That's how Lagos got its name. So thank me later if you didn't know that historical fact. But anyway, this video is about Nairobi um uh, market okay so when i was in lagos when i was in lagos i did a video of what five dollars can get you in lagos a lot of you seemed surprised especially westerners that uh, things were that affordable so some nigerians my fans recommended recommended that i do the same video in Nairobi just to compare the cost of living in Nairobi and in um, nigeria and as you know your wish is my command so i got you so I am staying with uh, with my family. I'm staying in Westlands area. So this area is a little bit, I'd say uh, the cost of living here will be a little bit higher. So the last time in Nigeria, I went to like a local, local market. So today I'm going to take you to another local, local market. Not so far from here. Um, it's called Kangemi Market. Yo, if you're Kenyan, you know this video. Kangemi Market is not for the entitled i want to say so let me explain something uh many of you might think that kenya or nairobi is unsafe first of all let me make it clear that this problem that i'm about to tell you is mostly in nairobi other places out of nairobi they don't normally have this problem so the problem is phone snatching i can confidently say that we don't have a lot of crime in kenya but phone snatching is the most common thing in Nairobi. So like if you're in a matatu, which is like a public van, and you're using your phone, they will snatch it through the window. Or if you're walking in some shady, shady areas in town, they'll snatch your phone. So phone snatching is like one of the most common issue that we have here. But I can, I can say without fear of contradiction that we do not have like a lot of violent crime. So you always have to be like, um, you have to be like uh, careful with your phone. So vlogging or filming in public areas, areas is a little bit tricky sometimes because of that issue. So especially this marketplace that I'm going will be a little bit tricky, but we are going to hack it. We are going to hack it, guys. We've, we have the experience vlogging in markets, right? So other, in other places, so Nairobi Tatushinda, is Nairobi going to defeat us? Never. So let me show you what I have here. I have a shopping list. So... I want tomatoes, onions, meat, fruit, cucumber, carrots, eggs, and ho 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 is capsicum. So why I have this list? Because these are the exact same things that I bought in Lagos. Uh, only The only difference is, I don't know if we can get fish in Kangemi. I think not. So I'm going to like substitute that for meat um, if I can find. But if not, we'll try to get something else that uh, maybe can cover that cost. Okay, so let's go to Kangemi. Um, I, I'm going to be using five dollars, which, which is approximately seven hundred and fifty Kenyan shillings. So I will take you through the whole process and see. Let's see how the experience is like. Okay, I'm really, really excited for this because I've done a market video in uh, Gikomba, which is like the most common market that everybody goes to. Uh, but Kangemi, I've not done this video in such a market you will understand when you see me there you'll understand what i mean by such a market okay so <laughs> i'm excited and nervous at the same time but we got to do what can you see you guys even hear that i'm stammering a little bit it's because I, i'm nervous but yeah we have to do what you have to do okay and you have to challenge ourselves and go out of our comfort zones and this is what i'm going to do i am going to go out of my comfort zone so i can take a matatu there but i do not know where to exactly get off so i'm thinking the easiest thing is to take a boda boda for those who don't know a, motor bo a boda boda is a motorbike taxi so i'm going to get one not so far from 
uh, where I'm staying and then yeah let's figure our way through this thing okay and I'll see you guys when I'm at the market bye okay guys so the first order of business is going to an Mpesa shop I know many of you have heard me talking about Mpesa but you don't know what is Mpesa so I'm going to show you today so this is Safaricom the one I keep talking about it's a service provider in Kenya so how we do Mpesa I'm going to show you right now I have my phone with me so this is Safaricom the app click on it and then you see we have Mpesa you click on it and then it says here with cash. so there you go from agent so this is like an agent shop and then we have you can use an agent or an ATM so because I'm an agent shop click on agent and then agent number is this one right here you see so I'm going to put zero give me a minute because using one hand doing this zero three eight one six six that is the agent number and then it says here enter amount so the amount is one thousand one thousand kenya shillings basically i need 750 but it's good to have some change eh, this screen protector is broken so that's why i'm having problems clicking on it and then my mpesa pin which i'm not going to show you <laughs> for obvious reasons so i put my pin and then yeah withdrawing cash cancel or okay so i'm going to click on okay here and basically that's it there you go so i can accept or refuse so i'm going to accept here click i have to change this screen protector because it's broken so now it's like really hard to that's it so thank you for using mpesa and then she's going to receive me a message on her side and then she's going to give you the money basically very easy and then from there you're going to go to the market and buy a couple of things and yeah <laughs> welcome to kenya welcome to convenience guys mpesa is the best thing after the innovation of sliced bread okay so let me talk to you guys in a minute bye okay guys so we are basically in kangemi market this is what it looks like on the outside it's like very busy but i want to go inside because inside is where you get the better prices if you go to the market on the roadside of course it's going to be a little bit expensive so let's start with tomatoes because you need tomatoes habari mother nataka nyanya alafu nafanya video ya youtube usishangae ni nini nafanya eh nyanya unauza tano mbao na hizi tatu kumi so this basically means five for 20 shillings i'm going to do the conversion and write the price there so you guys can know and this one is basically three for 10 shillings okay what's an chagua easy kwanza this is a turn on bow so i'm going to choose this one for five for 20 that is a really like fair price given the cost of living right now things are like really really expensive mother if it is make a big alley in Nairobi, what wanna survive <laughs> she's saying i'm asking how people are surviving in this area because the cost of living has really like gone up guys in the last couple of years to 20 20 2020 2020 corona before corona things were affordable that's what she's saying but now after covid and inflation like the price of everything is insane election bado ika affect bado bado maandamano the election also affected it because we had an election last year the presidential election and still it's been disputed so they still like riots maandamano is a what is it called demonstrations on the street so even that is affecting because when there's uh, demonstrations then transportation to the city is affected so i think goods cannot get in the city in the right price in the right time so the price shoots up to survive in chivo ivo to travel and in and <laughs> she says we're almost there it's true we're almost there but basically the price of commodities keeps fluctuating like if it's tomato season when they're being grown they're cheap if it's not the season they are more expensive but now so now it's not the tomato season so that's why they're a little bit pricey it should be even cheaper than this so yeah now here i have one two three four five six natakaza 40 bob seven eight nine 
10. Aya. Hizi ni za 40 bob. Eh sawa. Hizo ndio nataka. Nifungie ba. Ah, ya ya ni ga. Nilisa hao. <laughs> Guys, I forgot that uh, Oh yo yo, I forgot that uh, we, we here we use uh, reusable bags. Cuz I was in West Africa for a long time where they just gave you bags. So I forgot that here you have to bring your own bag. And I left so many bags at home and I didn't even think to carry one. You see the problems? See the problems I'm having, but I will survive. Nilisa hao mame pole pole. Ah, yeah, so let me pay and then I'll talk to you guys in a minute, okay? Actually, this is again your town in I know some of you don't know what Kenyan money looks like. So this is 1,000 shillings Kenyan money and this is the biggest denomination we have. Thank you, Mother Asante. Uh, so this is the 500 notes. This is the 200 notes. This is the 100. And this is the 50 shillings. So the money was changed recently actually. We used to have old money. Asante Sana Mari. We used to have old money, but this one was changed recently to curb uh, money laundering and all that other nonsense. You never know if it's true or someone just needed a tender. The el the lion. Because <laughs> you have all the big five. And this one is which one? I wanted to show you the animals that are there. But apparently, oh the athletes. Because Kenyans are runners, so the athletes and school kids learn with the laptops they never delivered. What are and we must have hope. Eh, bila hope to survive. Ah, Asante sana, Very nice, very very, very nice for them. Ah, amazing. I hope all the other uh, encounters are like that. So, let me buy a berry then. Nataka ho ho. This is a capsicum. So four for twenty. Same as the other one. Ishirini is basically twenty. Uh, so here we go and you see the size of this thing let me look for the biggest size because it's 4 for 20 regardless of the size so here you have to pick and choose the best most of them are cracked because of the squeezing during transportation so the ones that look super fresh so, oh yeah Iso, it's a 20 bob. Yeah. So you have to use these ones because these ones are reusable, not actual plastic bags. So yeah, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the market. I'm walking around, show you a little bit more of the market and then let's go. Oh, I'm a video on YouTube. I'm making a YouTube video, that's what, that's what I'm explaining. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, 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 and I didn't even do the math, and she brought me an extra 100. These are 250 shillings. Note. Oh my god, that is amazing! Oh my god, no, I have to give her like something to say thank you. Made, eh? Nakuja, nikwapa ko made. Ana vikiri ani mehe pa bila kulipa. Nakuja, I haven't paid him, so he's calling out for me. He thinks I'm not bila kulipa. Made, and talk to my Sante. Eh, nataka si yote kidogo tu yeyo. Asante sana. Unajua mtu mwingine atakuacha tu wende. Wow, thank you. Asante Sana Mother. Wow, she brought me change. I'm in shock. Asante. Oh, wow. I'm in shock. I just had to give a thing something to say thank you. Not because of anything, but because not many people will do that. Shika, Shika, bro. <laughs> he thought I left without paying. Ah, yeah, Sante. Mm. Okay, so basically, uh, 50, no, 60 Kenya shillings, which is roughly like what? Very, very little money. Very, very little money. But now let me show you a little bit more of the market. And then, oh, there's kids everywhere. So this market is like really big. There's a lot of things being sold here as you can see kitchenware whatever another impressor and equity equity is a is a bank so we have something called um 
agent banking here which is basically your bank brought closer to you so you don't need to you don't need to go to the bank to do all your transactions you can basically come to a place like this and do it but i think i'm on the right wrong side because this side seems it's just like clothes but i can see some vegetables over there so let's see if i can get some some of the other things that i need from there because i do not want any clothes today today i want other things so i have to check my shopping list to actually see what else is missing oh no this is not vegetables <laughs> <laughs> this is actually um, Mira, which is like hot, uh, which people just chew, like to get high and stuff like that. So definitely that wasn't the thing that I'm looking for. Uh, Google cut, K-K-H-A-T, and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. So be, that's not what I wanted. So let's see. Yeah, where is the food side? It's my first time in this market. So I'm learning along with you and Pesa. I think I have to ask. Abari yako? Nikitaka kununua vitu kama za kukula chakula chakula ziko pande gani? Kama mboga, mboga. Niende street huko hii side. Haya asante. Ah cause I was going to the wrong side so I needed to use ask for directions. So let me go to that side and then I'll talk to you guys in a minute and then find like a bag to put all these things okay see you in a minute but drop a comment on the comment section below let me know what you think about that that mama is like mother we call them in Swahili oh here we are ah it wasn't that far here we are okay this is the area that I wanted here we are let me get some carrots mother ya bariyako nataka carrots carrot na uzaje ini bao bao na ini ten ten na ini mia na ini fifth ini bao bao nipatia moja bunch moja ya bao I need to buy a bag. A reusable bag. Eh, moja tu. Asante. Eh, ndanunua. Wacha kwanza ni nunuwe karatasi pale. Sawa, sawa. Wacha niache. kwanza hapa. <laughs> She's telling me not to go, go and forget that I have them. So here, let me show you the bags that we use here. Every time you hear me talking about reusable bags, these are the bags. Mabe, ndaka hii bag moja. Ya 20 bucks. This is 20 shillings. Um, so this one I can reuse it over a long period of time so yeah let me put all my things here uh, I should have brought this from home it would have been easier ah yeah you okay apa chakadali ah karo tumesa manimbao okay ah yeah asante sana she's directed me where to get cucumber so let me see if I can get some cucumber and then keep moving green she said a green umbrella so let's see so let me know what you think about the market experience so far i think this is it yes isn't it coming up where 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 one onion for in some I mean, shop and i a video on youtube but I'm in shock. I pay more in a kilo. In a pay more, more, more. Eh? Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I watch and squeeze the soap. Oh my God. I'm in shock. Ten shillings for one onion is insane. Eh? You may You know, I can't just do this. I can't just do this. Hey, Jesus! I'm in actual shock. But we need onions anyway. Kasante sana. Me shukuru. Aya. Thanks. Asante. So I need cucumber as well and then I'll, I'll get oranges and apples from here. Oranges and apples. Let me check my shopping list and see what else I need. So so far so good. I like this market. It has like everything you need under one roof. So you don't need to keep walking around for too long. 
Let me see what else I need. So I have tomatoes, I have onions, I need to get fruit. I need cucumber, I have carrots, I need eggs, I have hoho. So I need eggs and fruit and meat. That's it. And I'll be done. And then we'll compare the cost of things here and the cost of things in Nigeria. Because you guys said Nigeria was, I said Nigeria was expensive. So it's the time to see if it's, <laughs> compared to Kenya, if it's the same. Okay, so we have, okay guys, right? Una mind kwa pia kwa video. Una una utai kwa pia. Kwa wani mshai. I was giving my in minds up here. Nata kufundisa kitu juu ya hii machunga yako. Eh, I was giving is is in minds up here in the video. It's like ah no, he's shy. Uko mshai. Na vile hapa madem wanaona anga machali wanaanza kuniambia nitumie namba. I'm basically telling you that women here they see the hot guys in my video and then they start asking for the number because he's a fine guy. He's a fine guy, he just doesn't appear, want to appear. Aya sawa, indo ni tango cucumber. Aya, cucumber moja ni how much? 20 bob. Nipatie mbili. Nipatie mbili. Lafu, machungwa mbona ni expensive hivyo? Eh, machungwa moja, machungwa moja how much? Machungwa moja 30 bob, kama apple. Tangulini machungwa hiko kwa bayi moja na apple. Eh? Ah, you need import? Ah, okay. So these ones are important. That's why they're very expensive. Let me start here. Import na taka ya ya kenyeji. Yenye bayi yake ni mzuri. Niende ni nilu huko mele. Ah, yeah. So easy mbili and change ya hii. Hii mebondwa. Hizo mbili zitakuwa how much? Umasema moja ni 20 bob. So 20. Tatu ni 90. Alafu hizi mbili ni 40. So zote zinakuwa. 130 sour. Okay, so the only thing left is oranges and meat. And then we'll be done. Acha niangalie shopping list yangu tena. Nilikuwa nimetengeneza ka list. Kwa nini ndio ndio kuapia na ma customer watakuja na hivyo ndio watu wanapatanga ma customer. Hii ni marketing, free marketing. Free marketing, eh? Later. He says I'm telling you free marketing is later. So ni kwa nyanya, onions but the meat, fruit, cucumber, carrots, my eye, eggs, eggs and meat, it's the only thing you mean. I have a feeling it will be like roughly the same, <laughs> roughly the same actually, but we'll do the math when we get home, because I can see from, uh, the one thing that I'm sure is cheaper in Nigeria is eggs, that's for sure, hands down, eggs are so much cheaper in Nigeria than here, but yeah, here we are, I don't want imported oranges, they're too expensive, so yeah, he's a shy guy. <laughs> He's fine but shy. I'm telling him I'll do free marketing for him, but he doesn't want. Ah, but it's okay. We we'll respect people's wishes, and then I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Bye. Okay, so I'm getting eggs. My eggs must be 15 moja. In your jogo, I'm an Kenyan jogo. At your jogo, the same price. Your jogo 30 moja. So you see what I was trying to explain to you that the difference between. Uh, eggs with a rooster and the other eggs so the one with the rooster is um a rooster involved is like 30 shillings and the other one is 15 shillings so half price half price in particular is is a 15 sitter so i'm going to go with the other one uh, the one with no rooster involved six of them because that's the same amount that i bought in Lagos. and then we will, we will so 15 15 times 16 Gabi. 90 bob Okay, so that's 90 shillings. 50 is a 50 shilling note. 60, 70, 80, 90. Ah, yeah, Sante. Ah, so now I have to be careful so I don't break the eggs. Need to share up a cup of garlic. Need to share up because now I will, if I'm careless, I'll break the eggs. Thanks, Sana. Mm. So yeah, the only thing that's remaining is oranges and uh, meat. Let me get oranges from here. Let me get oranges from here. So I have to be extra careful so I don't break my eggs. There we go. And then you have different prices. Sasa, machungwa. We have four for 20, five for 20. 3 for 20, 3 for 25, 
Then 10. 10 for 1. Okay. Let's get this one. 3 for 20. Yeah. Actually, I'll get more than uh, we got in Lagos because there are people in the house who would like to eat oranges. So, yeah. Nataka easy. So this is uh, 40 shillings. 40 shillings. Nataka is a 40 bob. Easy. Uh, easy. I'm going sita. Sita kwa 40 bob. I'm going to go to the house and fix it. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to He's saying it. I'm asking if I can bag and he says no. The price is fixed and it's registered. So if I go to search in the company search, I will find the fixed price. He's hilarious. Okay, so today is my lucky day because I actually found fish. I didn't think I would find fish. So moja 100, 150, 200, 270. Any 150? Is the 150. Uh, let me take this one for 150, two of them. Because actually I haven't eaten fish in a long time. I miss fish. I'm going to go to the samaki. I'm going to You guys, I'm excited. This is tilapia, isn't mm, This is tilapia. So I told you that here, tilapia is more um, popular than uh, the other kind of fish that uh, I bought in Lagos. So yeah, I'm really excited because tilapia is super, super delicious. And then, yeah, I think I have everything that I need and more. My bag fell down, so I'm afraid my, my eggs will be broken. Niko na pepa amade? Eh, wacha nirushe kwa hii, usishinde uki miyake ingine. So yeah, so I'm going to put the fish here and then we'll have everything that we need. Yay, that's a win. <laughs> and then I'll talk to you guys when I get home and I'll show you everything that I bought. Okay guys, so on my way home, I'm on my way home, all my stuff is here. I just came across something very interesting and I will have to show you guys and get your opinion on it. So look at this. It says Illuminati Brotherhood Association, triple six, lucky ring, job promotion, boost talent, protection, pick money, ETC. <laughs> So do you guys actually believe in Illuminati on all that stuff? Uh, for me, I think because I'm not a very religious person, I also don't believe in stuff like that. But I'm curious to hear you guys' opinion. Because, what? And they just put signs out in the street like, uh, if you want, <laughs> if you don't want to work your way through life, there's a shortcut, there's Illuminati which you can use and all that. It's so hilarious. But anyway, <clears throat> my stuff is like heavy. Let me get home and then I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? <laughs> but that is hilarious to me. Hilarious. So, yeah, work hard. Don't believe in shortcuts and Illuminati and all that stuff. I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye. Okay, I'm back home. <laughs> Let me show you what I got. I got these onions, these carrots, the tomatoes and the capsicum, which we call ho-ho. Bunch of oranges, six of them. Three apples, two cucumbers, a couple of avocados. This is a fish and my eggs, but most of my eggs are broken. So that lady is the one who put them there. So I don't even know they'll be usable. But yeah, basically, that's it. So, okay, guys, I was just doing the math to actually see like um, the cost of everything or if it's any different from Nigeria or here. So, roughly, it's the same from what I've seen. It's just that here I bought just a little bit more, just like two pieces of fish. Um, more oranges, like six. In Nigeria we bought three, so I bought like six oranges. And two cucumbers, a little bit more carrots. Basically, just the same. It's just that here I bought a little bit. I added avocado, but the cost is exactly, the total is exactly the same. So I'd say the cost of living in, in Lagos and here, it's basically the same. Here it's just a tiny bit cheaper and it's because I was in the local market. If I went to another market, it would be more expensive. In this neighborhood, it would be more expensive. Just like if I went to like the island side, in Lagos, it would have been more expensive than that area that I was. So it's a tie, guys. It's a tie. So yeah, let me know about uh, what you think about the whole thing. 
the cost of Nairobi, living in Nairobi, is that what you expected or did you expect it to be way more expensive? Honestly, I expected it to be a way cheaper here. But <laughs> yeah, it's just slightly bit cheaper. Okay. And then I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See you. Um, wait, I need to say that in Lagos, in Nigeria, the cost of living has shot up because of the removal of the fuel subsidy. So a couple of months ago, it would have been significant, significantly cheaper okay so i'll see you in the next one sending you love and like premiere gang from the bottom of my heart i want to say thank you thank you for always being there for always making time for me and don't take it for granted and i appreciate you guys more than you know see you later bye